Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Comic Talk. I'm Matt Kane. This week I'm talking about Evil Heroes 4. If you missed last Saturday's issue, go ahead and click the link to be directed to the third issue. In the meantime, let's get a quick recap. Mysterious evil gods have taken over the planet, and humanity's only hope lies in a group of enhanced humans called the Hellions. Last issue saw our Hellions take on one of the gods and kill him, but not without casualties. The issue starts off with Olympus speeding over to look at the horror that the gods have committed in a secret army base with him clearly having some doubts. He thinks back to the past, and we see him get a strange glimpse into the, I guess, the past life of the god that's inhabiting his body, as we see all this happens uh, before somewhere else. Before he runs off, he states that he can't let this happen again. The Hellions, meanwhile, are going off to face off with their next god. They engage in battle against the blue-skinned creature, and after a couple hits, they actually manage to take it down and proceed to burn it. Atlas, the leader of this group of villains, meets up with Zyana, and explains that somehow he's gained the location of the Hellion's secret base. Back to the Hellions, we see our heroes confronting another god, Anubis, except this time he's a little more prepared. Derek, our main character, gets a call from his wife back in base saying how it's being overrun by the creatures we saw earlier. Unfortunately, this distracts him from Atlas, who proceeds to blow a hole in the side of their ship. The Hellions are confronted with three of the gods, and this fight does not go well. One of the heroes, Casper, who has the ability of telepathy, is snatched by Atlas, and has his head burn off with heat vision, which sucks because I actually liked him. In the end, we see that things aren't going well for the rest of the group as the sea god prepares to summon a giant squid. So there you guys go, that was the issue a little better than last week's as we see the Hellions are finally able to combat these evil gods. Well, kinda. And the cliffhanger really got me excited for next week's chapter. Finally some action. We also got some backstory with the flashbacks earlier, kinda a way to show that these characters are feeling just kind of scared or excited, how they're coping with the change in their new duty. Finally, we have Olympus, the speedster god that's having some doubts about the god's mission to rule the earth. Like always, next issue will be out next Saturday. If you have any questions about the comic, let me know. Any comments, throw them down if you thought this is good or bad. And finally, if you have any comics like this uh, that you'd like me to talk about, let me know and I will get to it. Once again, I'm Matt K. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.